Thank you. <clears throat> Clap your hands, all people. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord the Most High is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. He subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our king, sing praises. For the God is the king of all the earth, sing praises with a song. God reigns over the nations, God sits on his holy throne. The princes of peoples gather as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. Thank you. Let's stand and we'll sing our first two songs, okay? Quest this morning. In addition to the kids who normally come up to Frog Club, I was wondering if I could have every kid who is 17 years or younger come on over to be part of the Frog Club this morning. Could you do that? Except for Harry in the back because he's got to work. Ladies, if you can take a seat on the chairs and the guys sit on the floor, that would be great. All right. Welcome, 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 welcome. All right. So officially, we began a new year of Frog Club, so I brought some official Frog Club bracelets that glow in the dark with me. Does anybody still need one? Anybody want another one? I mean, y'all should, here, why don't you take one out and pass it around while I do some talking, Okay. Awesome. So, Frog Club stands for what? Fully rely on God. All right. Fully rely on God. That's what we're about, right? That's great. So this morning, I want to talk to you about uh, this picture here, okay? So you see some people here. We see some grown-ups. We see maybe a couple of young adults in there. And some of the faces seem like happy. Some seem okay. And there's probably one face that seems a little bit not okay. Do you see that person? In the middle. In the middle. Yeah, what do you think she's going through? Could be. It could be any of those things, right? And she might just be lonely. In fact, one person said the worst loneliness is not being alone. The worst loneliness is being surrounded by people and still feeling alone, right? And I kind of empathize with that in the sense that here's this lady, she's surrounded by a group of people, and yet she's not connected. She's still kind of feeling alone. Does that make sense? Some other emotions that sometimes people feel is fear. Fear is probably the number one emotion. In fact, the phrase, do not be afraid, is written in the Bible 365 times. Can you believe that? There's a, there's a phrase for one day of every one, every day of the year, right? Thank you, family. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, so there's enough commands in the Bible that command us to not be afraid, and we got to remind ourselves daily sometimes to not be afraid. But some of the other emotions that other people could be possibly dealing with, like that lady, is not only loneliness, but maybe some people are feeling sick. Some people may be feeling tired this morning. Some people may even be depressed or worried. Some people struggle with hopelessness. Maybe they've come even to a church or into your family and they're heartbroken or maybe they're stressed out by work. Some people come into a gathering like this and they're just nervous if perhaps they're an introvert like me and I try to hide it the best I possibly can. Some people are confused. Some people can get frustrated. Some people are just downright annoyed or angry, etc. And there's a lot of emotions, right, that we can feel a day in and a day out basis. Now... What can we do about that, you know? What can we do about people who are seemingly part of the group but are kind of feeling a different emotion maybe uh, than, um, than we would want them to feel, right? And the reason why I brought up the one about fear is because a lot of times us as kids or us as adults, we're afraid to talk about how we feel. Right? Even though we have commands that say, do not be afraid, we, we often are afraid to talk about it. We don't talk about it. But what can we do, knowing that those people exist in the crowd somewhere, right? what can we do to help this person along? One of the things that I was thinking about with these two verses, one is 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 11, which says, encourage 
one another and build one another up. Right? Do you guys know what it means to be encouraged by something or someone? Yeah. Yeah, when they talk about happy stuff, you feel happy. It's that idea of maybe you weren't feeling courage to do something before, but now because someone has come alongside you, you have what it takes, the happiness or whatever, to take the courage to do what you know needs to be done. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 16 is another good verse. It says, And do not neglect doing good and sharing with one another for such sacrifices God is pleased with. Right? So those are some things that are very important for us to consider when we're trying to help some other people along. If you think about it, one act of random kindness can be a huge encouragement to somebody in need. Just, just one simple act of encouragement. For a pastor, I often think about how I teach, how I mentor, how I advise, or how I help people. You know, Oftentimes when I think about the church, I think about the church all week long. Because on Sunday morning, those family members who come to the church, I am hoping to be able to help in some way, to be able to teach or mentor, advise, or help them along in the journey of faith and also in the journey of life. It's like my one opportunity every week to talk into the life of somebody else. But what is some other ways that other people bring encouragement to you? Do you guys have any ideas? What, what are some ways people bring you encouragement? What are some nice things people do for you when you're feeling down in the dumps? Tell jokes. That's a great one. Bring food. I love that one. Yeah, what else we got? The rainy, cloudy, dumb day. What do people say that or do that help you make you feel better? Happy stuff. Jump in a puddle. Okay. Or maybe seeing somebody else drive through a puddle and they get soaked and not you. That would bring me happiness. Maybe not. I don't know. Make you laugh, right? All those things are absolutely wonderful, okay? So this morning, I want to do something a little bit different, okay? I want to have a kindness auction. I know you've never heard of this before because I just made it up. But I'm really excited to try this. And what I need, guys, is your compassion, I need you to think about other people this morning. I need you to feel for other people this morning and, and maybe how you can encourage them. And then likewise, uh, family, I need your flexibility this morning to um, kind of go along with the flow, all right, to, to maybe do something that you never thought that you'd walk into church and do today. And I'm going to say that when we do this, that you guys are such an, a, a valuable asset to the church, that you guys really are some of the most important people in the church that we want the rest of the church to fight over your attention and your time, okay? So parents, if you have some kind of special anxiety or if you feel uh, uh, blessed to be near a kid in the service, um, I'm asking that maybe you be willing to sit wherever they go this morning. Could I, could I get your affirmation about that this morning? Is, that, is everybody okay with that? That what we want to do is have you guys sit somewhere else in the church this morning. All right? So, so when you think about all the other people in the church, you sitting next to somebody this morning will actually probably brighten up their day. Maybe you will tell them a joke they never heard of before and it would make them feel happy. Okay, But rather than having you guys pick where you're going to sit and who you're going to sit next to this morning, we're going to have the church bid where you get to sit. You rolling with me here? So what we're going to do is one at a time, we're going to have you guys come up. I'm going to ask you a question. And then somebody in the audience is going to raise their hand and say that I want Lydia to sit next to me today, okay? And what they're committing to is if Lydia comes and sits next to them today, that they are going to, in return, give you one act of kindness to brighten up your week this week. 
okay? And it's a commitment, family, that if Lydia comes and sits next to you this week, you're going to find a way to encourage her. Maybe it's a card, maybe it's a phone call, maybe it's a joke, maybe it's some food coming to her house. Any way that you can find an act of kindness, Lydia's going to come, or you're going to bless Lydia's life because she sat with you this morning. Does that make sense? And so we're going to bid for these children's time. Parents, you okay with that? If you're mildly not okay with it, then I would encourage you just to sit with where your kids go this morning. All right? All right, so Lydia, you've been the center of attention. Come on up here. Stand right up here. I want to ask you a couple. You want to get right on there? That'd be cool if you stood right up there. You want to stand on that? Because you're on the auction block. You want to stand? All right. A couple of questions, okay? What is your favorite? Oh, wait, no. Why don't you say who you are? Lydia. What's your favorite food? Toast. Toast. That's an easy one. If you want her love, bring toast. Uh, what is your favorite superhero? Uh, uh, Dad? Dad, yeah. That's, I was thinking the same thing, Lydia. That's great. All right. So I need a bid for who would like to sit next to Lydia today. Can I get a raise of hand? I got one back there. One going once. Oh. Oh, okay, so if you bid again, now you're acting young, you're saying two acts of kindness this week, all right? So we're up to two acts of kindness in one week, all right? Now we're up to two. Do I hear a third? You might want to go up to three acts of kindness in one week for Lydia. Wow, Mrs. Pursuun really wants to show you some love this week. We can keep going. Four acts of kindness for Lydia this morning? All right, sold. Go over and sit by Mrs. Pursue, and that's where you're going to be doing church today, okay? Thank you, Lydia. All right, ma'am, how about you? You're next. Come on up. Do you want to sit or stand? Or kneel? All right. Then what is your name? Avonlea. Avonlea, right? All right. So what, are your, what, what is one of your hobbies, ma'am? What's a hobby? What are things you like to do in your own free time? Play. Play. Do you, do you collect anything? Nothing. Um, let's see. If your pet could talk, what do you think they would say about you? Not sure. How about, what is your favorite animal? A cat. You almost said hedgehog. I think that's Aunt Margo's favorite one. I always say Aunt Margo because everything's Aunt Margo. Anyway, so cat. All right. So we have Miss Evan Lee. I need a bid to start off with, with one. One bit of kindness, random act of kindness this week for her. Miss Margo's got one. Who, who else? Do I, do I hear a two? Yeah, hear two? All right, Mr. Porter. Two acts of kindness for you this week. We, we can keep going. Do, do I hear a three? Going once, going twice. All right, go on. You're sitting next to Mr. Porter to this week, okay? Thank you, ma'am. Sir, you want to come up? All right, you want to stand? Feeling brave? I'll, okay, I'll keep you from falling. All right, you ready for your questions? Uh-huh. All right, first introduce yourself. Who are you? Levi. Levi. Everybody hear that? All right. What do you take in your coffee, sir? Like, what do I put in my coffee? Yeah, what do you put in your coffee? Cream. Cream. <laughs> uh, so you're going to buy him coffee this week. It's got to be... Gotta be cream. All right. What, what's your What's your favorite lunch? Uh, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, my man. All right. And what is the first thing you do upon arriving after school? Finish your homework. Finish your homework. You're a studious man. But what do you do after homework? Sleep. Sleep. All right, you heard it. This man likes to sleep, so this act of kindness might be a little rough for you. He's a worker, he's a sleeper, but he does like mashed potatoes. I love that. Get this guy some coffee, will you? Let him. He's working hard. All right, so we need one act of random kindness. Mr. Eric Reese. All right, there's one. Do I have another one? Let's take a second. Anybody? It's okay. I mean, we're going to run out of people here eventually, so they 
counts are probably going to come down a little bit. All right, going once, going twice. Mr. Reese, all right, so bring over a chair. You're sitting with Mr. Reese today. Awesome job. Ma'am, you want to come up next? All right, you want to introduce yourself? Um, I'm Elsie. She's Elsie, Elsie right? Yeah. All right. Um, let's see, um, what is one thing that instantly makes your day better? Um, my cats. My cats, all right. Um, what are you most thankful for? My family. My family, that's what I'm talking about. And uh, let's see, what is your favorite summer activity? I would say soccer. Soccer, all right. All right, so we need one act of random kindness. If she sits next to you today, who would like to bid for her time? Anybody? Miss Margo's up again. All right, do we hear a second? Anybody? Oh, we raised the bid over here. Miss Deb Dawson. All right, do we hear a third? I know, we get to three acts of kindness in a week, and you're like, Phew. what are we going to do? Going once, going twice. This is Dawson. So you're going to sit next to her today, okay, during church. Awesome. Ma'am, you want to come up? You want to stand on the chair? No. Okay. All right. Well, I could answer you. I could ask about a thousand questions of you. Uh, let's see. Um, what is your favorite superhero? Batman. Batman. <laughs> Batman ever shows up to my door and she's going on a date, I know I'm in trouble because that's that's gonna be the guy. Do you do you play any instruments? No. Not anymore. Oh, sorry, these are your answers. No instruments. All right. Um, let's see. What are you most excited about right now? You can't say getting away from the microphone. Doesn't know. <laughs> okay, well, um, what is something that always makes you smile? <laughs> it's really hard for us introverts. Our mind just goes blank. I'm in front of people. So, who would like to help Midori find some happiness this week by <laughs> having her sit next to him? <laughs> All right, we got one, Mrs. Reese, two, two acts of kindness from Lisa, three, three acts of kindness? Is that, are you bidding again? Wow, you, you can do whatever you want. I need some help. All right, we're up to three acts of kindness. Anybody want to go up to higher than three? Going once, going twice. So old Mrs. Dawson, you're going to sit next to her today. Grab your, grab your books and stuff because you're going to be over there. All right. You ready? Let's do it. You want to sit on a chair? No. No? Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we got for you. Um, if you could choose one superpower, what would it be? Mm, fly. A fly? Oh, you want to fly. <laughs> right. Because, yeah. you know, my favorite superhero guy is Ant-Man. He makes me laugh. So I was thinking fly man, but you want to actually fly. Yeah, you know, we didn't actually introduce yourself yet. Which, what's your first name? Jace. Jace. All right. So this is Jace who wants to fly. What is your favorite joke? You got a good joke in there for me? Mm. No. Don't. No, no, he's not a joker. All right. What is your favorite season? Summer. Summer? All right. And uh, how do you prefer to exercise? Because you look like a well-built man. I don't know. You don't know? He runs a lot. <laughs> All right. So if you want to chase this man down and want him to sit next to you today, we need one act of random kindness this week for him. Do we have a bid? All right. Mrs. Levinsky. Whoa, don't go anywhere. You might get another one. Chase. Chase. He's like, I'm a humble man. One, one act of random kindness would be great. Just going home. All right. Do we hear a second? Ooh, Mrs. Porter. Wait, keep going. Wait. We might get a third. This could be fun. Do we have a third? 
Going once, going twice. Sold, Mrs. Porter. All right, you got outbid there, Mrs. Levinsky. Miss Levinsky, you want to come up? All right. And what is your first name, ma'am? Lydia. Lydia. Lydia, uh, what is your most prized possession? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing? Well, my grandma gave me an opal ring. All I'm right, an grandma. opal ring. Very nice. Grandmas are good for gift giving, aren't they? That's pretty cool. All right. Um, what is on your bucket list? You know what a bucket list is? Yeah. Okay. What are you dying to do? Bungee jump? Well, to go like parachuting. Parachuting. All right. Nothing like shooting for the sky there. Um, what do you enjoy spending money on? Um, candy. Candy. <laughs> Glad we got a good answer. So. We have Lydia up here this morning. She'd like to sit next to somebody. And we need one act of random kindness from somebody who may just need to buy her some candy. And that'll make her happy. All right. Mrs. Barrett is up again. That's one. Lisa says two. Two acts of random kindness. Anybody can up that game? Going once, going twice. Lisa! Oh, I didn't see her here. Sold. So you'll sit with Miss Lisa today, okay? Appreciate it. So you want to come up here? Got your frog bracelet on? Yeah. Awesome. All right, look at the camera. Give them the eyebrows. Um, Whatever that is. Why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, I'm a guy. You're a guy? What's your first name, guy? Lucas. Lucas. This is Lucas. This is my nephew. Happy he is here with us. Who knows you best, Lucas? Myself. All right. <laughs> yep. You're a wise man. Let's see. What is the best meal you have ever eaten, Lucas? Um. Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Good choice. I like ice cream too. And let's see, uh, how old are you, Lucas? I'm 10 and like six months, I think. All right, so 10 points, 10 and a half, 10.5. Cool. So we need a act, random act of kindness for Mr. Lucas, if you would like to sit next to him today. Do we have a bit of one? Mrs. Ross, thank you very much. Do we have a second? Two acts of random kindness this week. Mr. Levinsky's going with two. What else do we have? We have number, do we have a third? Going once, going twice. Sold, all right, you're gonna sit by next to Mr. Levinsky today, all right. Sir, you wanna come up? You don't know. I know, this has been hard. Dory did it, your brother did it, I'm up here doing it. Are you next? We'll let you think about it. Ma'am, do you wanna come up? What is your name, ma'am? Julia. Julia. This is Mr. and Mrs. Reese's daughter. Uh, let's see. If your pet could talk, what do you think they might say about you? You're amazing. Of course that's what they would say. That's a great answer. I love that. What is your strangest irrational fear? You like afraid of like irrational? like hair in your face or broccoli in your teeth or heights? Fuzzy spiders. Fuzzy spiders. I think you got a lot of women on your side of that one. And let's see, and uh, what are you allergic to? Anything? Don't say homework. Everybody's got to do it. No. Nothing? All right. So here's Julia. If you'd like to sit next to Julia today, I need one act of random kindness. All right, ma'am, there's one. Miss Margot is two. 
Three? Wow, three acts of random kindness. You're spoiled. Is that our first three? Wait a minute, one more. Going once, going twice. There you go, ma'am. Take your seat. Three acts of random kindness to sit next to your friend. That's awesome. Sir, come on up here. You've been dying, you've been waiting, you've been patient. No. I yeah, you're all smiles. I, I gotta ask you a difficult one here. Let me think about here. Let's see. What's your favorite sport? Oh, wait, introduce um, yourself. Oh, um, I'm Peter. Peter. All right. What's your favorite sport, Peter? Uh, I don't know. I like a couple. I like basketball, football, and soccer. Oh. Awesome. Athletic. Good. Flexible. Great. I'm not really flexible. I'm not really like. I'm not flexible. <laughs> I know. Lids, lids could just sit here. Every day lids, no, lids could just go into a split from here. I could. All right. Good. All right. Uh, let's see, do you have a favorite toy? Um, maybe Legos. Legos. I liked those when I was a kid, too. And what is your favorite thing to do with your parents? Um, well, I like throwing a football around in the backyard. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And... Did your mom get into that, too, by the way? She will throw it. Yeah. Got an arm, Mrs. Lewinsky. Yeah. Nice. So playing sports with your parents. I like playing sports. I would like watching movies, but I usually don't get to choose the one I want. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Not much changes when you get older. I got kids in the house. They don't get to choose very often. All right. So we got Peter up here. Uh, who would like to sit next to Peter? It costs you one act of random kindness. Anybody? Well, we need the adults to do it. We got to get the adults involved. The kids are already doing an act of kindness by sitting next to you. Mr. Porter, that's one. Anybody else? We can do two. Mr. Pursue, Cap Captain Pursue. Better behave yourself back there. Do we, do we hear a three? Going once, going twice. All right, so, so you're going to be sitting with Mr. Captain Pursue today. Sir, like what? Are you happy about this or are you dreading this right now? Not happy. Not happy? <laughs> Try to make this as painless as possible, okay? What is your first name? George. George. So George is looking for somebody to support him with some great acts of kindness today. All right. Aside from necessities, what one thing could you not go a day without? Toothbrush? It would be interesting without light, like being like a dark room. Ah, okay, so you need light. You're a man of the light or you're, you're no, like darkness? It would just be very interesting. Be very interesting. All right, deep thinker here this morning. All right, what is your favorite color? Blue. Blue, of course. Everybody likes blue. Uh, let's see, what is the farthest you have traveled from home, sir? I think Florida. Florida, well-traveled man, nice job. But I haven't gone really anywhere else, like far away, really. Well, that's pretty far. I mean... I mean, I've gone there, but nothing else really far. Okay, well, that's good, but that's pretty far. Who else has been to Florida, anybody? Oh, wow. So next time you go to Florida, maybe somebody will take you to Florida again. Who knows? That would be an act of random kindness. <laughs> anybody going to Florida anytime soon? He wants to see a couple other states. Anybody go west? All right, so if you'd like to sit next to George this morning, we need an act of random kindness. Who would like to sit next to George today? Mr. Porter's up again, wow. Who else? Two acts of random kindness in one day. Miss Margo is looking for somebody to sit next to. I can't sit next to you this morning, I'm sorry, I got to. All right, two acts of random kindness, three, do I hear three? Going once, going twice. All right, sold. So you're going to sit next to Miss Marco. All right. Sir, you want to try one more time? You want to try one more time? All right. Let's introduce ourselves. What is our first name? I don't know. He doesn't know. This is Liam. Liam, what makes you the happiest? Um, when I eat a chicken sandwich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
I'm so proud of you. You make me happy. All right. Do you have any brothers or sisters, Lou? Yeah. I mean, I think so. One brother and one sister? Yeah. Okay. And let's see. Um, what is your favorite winter activity? I'm um, throwing snowballs at a tree. Absolutely. Unless it's your brother and he's standing there next to the tree, right? That sounds even like more fun, right? All right. So we need uh, one act of random kindness. If you want to sit next to Liam today, Mrs. Lewinsky is one. Do we hear two, two, two acts of random kindness for Mr. Liam's kindness to you today? Who would like to sit next to Mr. Liam? One, going once, going twice. Sold, all right, Mrs. Lewinsky. Who did we miss, anybody? Come on, look around here. I'm sorry, come on up here. You want to stand up? Yes. All right. You're in front of the microphone there. Your dad has been waiting for this moment the whole morning. What is your first name? Judah. Judah. Good name. Strong name. Powerful name. All right. What is your favorite way to spend an afternoon, Judah? Video games. Of course. I'm going to use that today, so get ready. Video games. And uh, let's see here. Uh, what is your favorite thing to do with your parents? Game night. Game night. Love it. Good answer. Top answer probably on the board. I don't think any kid loves game night. Let's see. And uh, what is your standard morning routine like? Do you have one? No. No? No. Let's start with waking up. Do you wake up in the morning? Yes. Okay, good. What do you do after you wake up? Eat breakfast. All mm. right. Do you have a favorite breakfast food? Cereal. Cereal. Any favorite cereal? No. All right. So if you uh, like cereal, like Judah likes cereal, maybe you have a bowl of cereal together in a non-standard morning routine. It would, that would be great. All right. So we need one act of rate of kindness, if you'd like to sit next to Judah today. Do I hear one? One, Mr. Pursoon. Do I hear two? Two acts of random kindness? Going once, going twice. All right, sold. You're back there with Mr. Pursoon. All right. Now, I appreciate you guys' patience with that. Um, I think it's very important that uh, we are reminded that the fellowship is more just about, uh, not just about the adults, but also about all of our children in our sanctuary as well. And uh, I hope that as they sit next to you, you'll feel blessed because they're there. And the kids, uh, you have a responsibility to tell at least one joke or do something, uh, I don't know, silly or, or say something kind while you're sitting next to the person who bid for your attention this week. And Adults, you have a tremendous responsibility ahead of you this week of making sure you fulfill that commitment by doing something nice for those kids this week, all right? So that being said, I need a couple of volunteers, not you found your seat, from my frog club to take care of a couple of church business issues, one of them being the benevolent offering. Do I have a volunteer for that? All right, Mr. Pursoon and Mr. Liam, come on up. We'll get the offering plate. In fact, we'll do the regular, we'll do the regular tithes and offering first, because I got both of you up here, all right? And uh, when they pass this out, we'll stand and we'll sing one song rather than two this morning, because I had so much fun this morning with the kids. Let's pray, and we'll stand and we'll sing, okay? Father God, we thank you so much for our children. Thank you for how much, how many kids are actually part of this fellowship. Lord, we just pray that we wouldn't take them for granted. Lord, they're such a blessing to our lives to see them here every day. Uh, Lord, we just pray a special blessing on their lives, that you just watch over them real special, that they will grow to know you at a deep level. Lord, we just pray that these tithes and offerings that we give as an expression of our heart added toward, toward you and our love for you would be used in a powerful way to not only bless these kids' lives, but to share the gospel uh, with this community. We pray for all these things in Christ's name. Amen. All right, guys, pass those out. We'll stand and we'll sing one more song, okay?